What a Friday it is. Things are actually moving, which is what you want to see. Boarding and standby. It's your typical crowd here. People waiting to get down to the platform. Here's the update from NJ Transit. It says they're looking at the possibility that yesterday's derailment was caused by an equipment issue. The tracks leading in and out of Penn Station lead to a pair of Hudson River tunnels. A lot of repair and upgrade work has been done already in this area. Remember all the reroutes and work done in the summer of 2017. Near this area during Thursday evening's rush, NJ Transit said the wheels of one car came off the tracks. This is video from the scene captured by Citizen App during the derailment. Inspectors are focusing on the car itself. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy says, don't call it a minor derailment. I'm thinking to myself, if I were on that train, it wouldn't be minor to me. So if people are upset about it, I don't blame them. Now, obviously, safety is our first responsibility and, uh, and, and otherwise delivering on time acceptable service. Uh, and this incident violates all of the above. The commute is just not, it's not easy. We were probably about 45 minute delay. And uh, you'll still get a little bit of uh, delay, but uh, things are as normal as they can be here. NJ Transit has a couple of issues going on. There are staffing problems. There's funding issues. They're working to install that safety system called positive train control. Governor Murphy says he is on the case. Remember, NJ Transit's offered a 10% discount on passes for November, December, and January. The uh, Federal Railroad Administration is also on the case here. Live at Penn Station, where things are moving. As of right now, Greg Mock, Pixel. Avenues.